Shalom from Western Ukraine. Uh, behind me, you, you perhaps can see the Carpathian Mountains. We're winding down our time here on the ground in Ukraine, and I just wanted to give you a few highlights of what we uh, uh, discovered here during our time on the ground. Number one, uh, the horrifying suffering of the people continues. Millions have had to leave their homes, cities destroyed, people are hungry, living in basements, uh, people are in need of, of water. Uh, it's just heartbreaking, really, and we've heard story after story of, of heartbreaking situations, heartbreaking losses. Secondly, our partners on the ground, and we had the privilege of meeting with about seven of our partners here in three different cities. Some of them came from other cities to visit us in the cities where we were staying. Amazing. They served day and night, heroically, inspirationally. They risked their lives for the benefit of others to bring food, water, to bring help, and their compassion and their tireless service is just inspirational. We counted it as a privilege to partner with them to help the suffering people here in Ukraine. The third thing I want to highlight is that uh, uh, each of our partners spoke to us about the need for post-traumatic stress syndrome help, the healing of Yeshua and, and professionals that can help minister and, and, and train the ministers on the ground here. And so this is a tremendous need. Uh, Elisa, a little girl, six years old, daughter of an assistant messianic pastor here, rocket fell near her home at the beginning of the war, and since that day she's been having nightmares every night. And uh, so this is a tremendous need here as well as the suffering just continues. Again, I just want to thank you for your prayers. They mean so much to the people here. And thank you for your financial support. The need here is great. And we'll continue to keep you updated on all that's happening. Shalom from Western Ukraine.